A member of the Century Village Computer Club, having been impressed by the demo of AT&T's UVerse system, decides to install it in his apartment in Guilford C. The technician arrives. First thing he does is put on protective booties. Arrival time, 9.40 a.m. First part of the job involves taking off the telephone plate. All the AT&T U-verse signals will enter the apartment through the existing phone wiring. He connects a meter to the telephone lines to make sure that the backyard work was done properly and see if we have a signal. It's initializing on his meter. It's making a handshake with the AT&T system and then we get the green pass which means that everything is ready for him to connect the UVerse package. The technician connects a signal probe to the wires at the telephone plate, goes to the other side of the room where the television is going to be and gets confirmation with his signal probe that everything is ready to go. The old Comcast cable TV box is removed. We won't be needing that anymore. Look how big it is. This is the battery backup for the AT&T U-verse which will allow voice over internet phone calls and surfing on the internet for up to eight hours in the event of a power failure. He connects it to the residential gateway which is then connected to the master DVR box. An HDMI wire is connected to the television set and the box is then plugged in. We're waiting for green lights. Here they are. That means we're now receiving AT&T U-verse. This is the wireless access point. This will transmit the U-verse video to the remote rooms so that no wires need to be run at all. It's all done wirelessly. The technician connects the wireless cable box to the old-fashioned cathode ray tube set in the customer's kitchen and now he's looking to get a connection with the master DVR in the customer's den. The connection is now establishing and confirmed. Now we have AT&T U-verse on all three television sets. Not a single wire had to be installed. The two remote boxes are wireless. Time 1113, less than an hour and a half after the installation began. We go to the main room where the HDTV is. The technician will now punch in a channel number and confirm that the video is clean, which indeed it is. These are standard deaf channels. This is standard definition version of divorce court. The technician will now switch to the high definition channel. Notice the black bars on the side for standard def. Once he switches, no more black bars, full screen, HD, wonderful picture. The program guide is much better than Comcast because it actually shows moving pictures of the different programs, not just text. He's now demonstrating multi-view, which will allow the customer to view up to four different television programs at the same time. Here's the main picture in the middle and the three pictures in picture on the right-hand side of the screen. Of course, any of these pictures can be selected and swapped and made to appear in the middle large image. Now we're back to single view. 
He punches up program info. This is full screen mode. You still see what's going on in the corner. Or this is half screen mode where you still see most of the picture even though you're looking at program information. We're now recording. The recordings can be initiated from all three televisions and they can be played back from all three televisions and up to four different programs can be played back at the same time. Internet, 11 and a half download speed. The job's complete. Technician gets in the truck and drives off to do the next AT&T install.